one of the best in the state for a reason, man. This kid has everything going for him. Cannot wait to see how he really breaks out after, you know, this new era of uh, post-quarantine tournaments. And all you see right now already, the Squirtle putting in work, putting the fear uh, just in the trial right now. And I mean, Squirtle is just quite literally the, the perfect starter Pokemon to, to open up a match like this one with. Gets the 52% built up, and here's where Krom has to be very careful because there's a little thing that Ivysaur has at their disposal called Dare, uh, <laughs> and Krom's recovery just so happens to be very vulnerable to it. Uh, not going for it there, but they come back up onto the stage and very nearly eat a bear to the face, do survive and have a second opportunity oh to just God. get connected by another bear. Yeah, I was gonna say, Charizard back here, almost doing it right now. Wow, amazing placement on that up B right there to not get caught by the uh, water gun. I'm, I'm actually very surprised that the water gun didn't hit because it looked like Kyle went above the, the, the ledge, but you know, fantastic use from them. Tries to go for, that might've been a miss input from Pupe. I don't think he wanted the up B there. Right, but uh, still, Still alive somehow, catching that, that jab back here. Charizard is a heavy, heavy boy, so he's got a bit longer unless he gets dash attack at the ledge and explodes. I love that sliding F tilt from Kyle to take out the stock and now playing very, very confidently gets the double nair, grab into the up air, switching to Charizard for, well, exactly that. Gets the run up up smash and takes out the stock now. Resetting on the second one, going to do exactly what they did on the first stock to, and that's a, the, the a high vortex. damage. That, that Squirtle Vertex is so good, especially against uh, characters with tall hitboxes, just like Prom. Comes back to stage again, and actually, we haven't seen Pupe going for, for too many deep edge guards against a character that is traditionally as edge guardable as Krom is, so an interesting stratagem here, but you know what's gonna work out fantastically is they get the F smash on the landing. What a read right there by Puppet. Absolutely fantastic use. And now he's just gonna switch up Charizard. A lot of people would say go Swirler here, but man, Puppet's Charizard is absolutely fresh. Trying to get the Nairs on the, uh, on the ledge while Kyle gets back up on, but that's gonna be a grab into down throw. No fair to follow it up though. Good DI plus air dodge from Kyle, and he gets the read with the F smash. Fantastic DI from Puppe though, not gonna be a kill. Comes back down, and you can tell he's looking for a Jair. He wants it. Definitely is, but he's, and the frame one swap, saving his life right there. All right, then the Ivysaur is back out. Comes down, lands with the fair, sends out Razor Leaf, and you know he's trying to pop up into the Razor Leaf up air, up air. or Good just catch. the back air up air on the jump. And Puppe takes game number one. Absolutely incredible stuff by Puppe right there. I feel like Kyle definitely has some good momentum going. He had some good moments in that match, that uh, that S smash read on the aggressive return to stage when Puppet had Charizard out. Really good, really well thought out. Uh, I feel like he just needs to do a little bit better against the Squirtle. The Squirtle's a little scary. Yeah, I, I think the biggest thing is that like that's just kind of always an existential threat for them, is yeah. that Puppet, every time a stock starts, will just pull out the Squirtle and do 50% for free. Right, for free. <laughs> Going into game number two, just running it right back to Pokemon Stadium 2. No swaps in anything. But we could see a change in result, especially with this strong opening from Kyle. 31% going to try and add some more. Gets the side B, but doesn't finish it. Just needs to knock it grabbed, and there it is. Going to get all that percent back and a little bit more with the up air chain, too. Unfortunate, but that's just the matchup. Right, and he's still tacking on a pretty good amount of damage right now. Uh, Squirtle kind of in the threat range, or he could definitely die to an extremely strong uh, Crown Smash attack, so, but Puppy's still uh, sticking it out. Comes back up onto the stage with the jump off of ledge, gets chased by the bear, and now Puppe going to get the chase. Ooh. Down Smash, not going to kill quite yet. It is going to kill quite yet, never mind. <laughs> he was just a little bit too far away to uh, make that recovery, unfortunately. Comes back up, gets the roll off, and well, he just has to avoid getting grabbed. And as there it I is. speak it into existence. <laughs> into it, all right. Commentator's curse. But Puppe is so confident with this character, man. Gets the back air there as well. And oh, jab F smash, good DI up onto the platform from Puppe to avoid the worst case scenario. And there it is again. Puppe is so good at using the Pokemon switch to just say, I don't want to be in this combo anymore. Speaking of combo. Back air, back air to Vine Whip, and your stock is absolutely deleted. Comes back up onto the stage, but a Nair.
tries to follow it up with a second one, and this could be dead. This could be this it. This could be it. This could be it. This is it. He is gone. Oh my god. What a sequence right there from Puppe, man. That was that was Nair Nair ledge grab. Nair Nair. <laughs> the move that does it all, bro. The 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 blender. The, the leaf blender right there. But uh again, like I was saying before, you know, I'm, I'm not I'm not saying Puppe is good just to gas him up. He's genuinely insanely talented with that character. Now. Do you know what round of bracket that was? I'm assuming this is probably around like the uh, winner's quarters. This range? is winner's round four, so we're just like before quarters. Okay. So okay, so that was top 32. Uh, both both Riddles and Puppe on opposite sides of bracket, kind of tearing their way 